doing the normal stuff, training, running, reading loads, watching loads of movies. I piled through a couple of good ones and a couple of bad ones. I watched that movie called 2012, you know, that disaster movie that came out a while back. Fucking garbage, but you know, there's something about the disaster movies that are kind of hitting the spot for me at the moment. I've also finished watching Band of Brothers, which is really good. Um, old school wartime uh, film mockumentary sort of thing. It's intersliced with some um, accounts from actual veterans that fought um, within when that fought in the Second World War, um, which is really good. And so obviously an all star cast of people because it's a HBO production. There's a sneaky cameo from Jimmy Fallon on there as well, doing his acting work. But yeah, it's really good to see that because um, it's got some good recommendations if you like war movies or any sort of all that kind of malarkey then you definitely should check out Band of Brothers if you haven't already and then I watched Extraction on Netflix that was really good with Chris Hensworth he did a superb job uh, for the directors and the cinematographers did a good job as well of uh, portraying um, is it, I'm, I'm assuming it was India well, no, it was not Pakistan I'm not too sure but wherever that was um, they did a good way of representing it in the right way. They got a lot of Bollywood actors and actresses to work in the movie too um, that represented that culture well as well. I love the fact that they were speaking in their native tongue. So you got a real um, uh, feel of the place. Um, and Chris Hemsworth again, man, I think he smashed it. I think he could play that role all, all day long, man. The kind of swashbuckling, swashbuckling um, you know, drunken uh, operative. I'm not sure if Tools, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched it, I'm not sure if he's still alive in the movie towards the end, but he may be. But I would like to see him do more of those movies going forward. Um, maybe kind of like a redo of like Jason Bourne or like an evolution of that kind of template. Especially um, the idea that, you know, he's got this troubled uh, checkered past, maybe suffers from PTSD, maybe there's some anguish in his family life that he hasn't necessarily dealt with. And then he uses the fact that he goes on these lonesome missions as a way to kind of like numb the pain and to also put himself into harm's way. That could be a good option. But what struck me about the Chris Hensworth um, bit was that he's a lot taller and a lot bigger than most action heroes you see on screen maybe maybe the exception of i don't know keanu reeves if you want to call him an action hero most of the people that we accept that we see on tv that play those roles are quite slight in stature and then they make them look bigger in the movie right but um you chris Hemsworth is legitimately i don't know what six foot or something right he must be so him running on the bridge you definitely saw that's the first thing i noticed straight away. i was like oh he's really tall like he's a big dude you know what i mean so I, I'm not too sure if maybe the reason why he wasn't getting cast lead roles, which is really dumb to say, yeah, he's 190 in it, right? So he's like, what, six foot two? So I think the reason why he might have not been cast in these roles beforehand was the fact that he has a bigger build and maybe on TV, because they say TV at 10 pounds. So if you are, you know, six two on 180 pounds, you look fucking gargantuan and you only have to look at what Dwayne Dwight Johnson looks like on television. I'm sure he looks he's big as well don't get me wrong but i don't think he's as big as he makes out on tv so maybe that's the reason why they didn't cast him because he, he does this role really well um a lot better he's, he does he looks a lot more authentic than others he you think he did some combat training for it um overall i thought he really did a really good job and i like the fact that he wasn't like the they they did a really good twist on like the white not they didn't do the white savior sort of motif they, they really let him kind of integrate with the cast in the place that it was filmed um there was a lot of different layers towards it you know the kind of idea that there's these two warring drug lords um which you know i didn't really know you know india had a problem with drugs in that regard which they probably i don't know if they do to that extent but the fact that the highlights in the movie is kind of shining a light on kind of the seedier parts of maybe that um whole glitzy bollywood um, entertainment industry right um, where the work worlds are kind of converging and shit um, you saw this idea that you know these those kind of drug lords are usually kind of um, given there's no other option for them right those kids that are growing up in those shanty towns in India like um, the one kid that kind of has gone has grown up and maybe take over from one position he sort of has no option but to just fill that role because you know he's essentially seeing his friends getting chucked off the top of a building of course you haven't watched it you know watch it already that's a spoiler for somebody who's intending but um yeah it's a great movie i thought this guy that he fights as well in the movie did really well he's a great actor this one dude here on the right hand side who plays the um the Na the indian navy seal but all in all man a really really good movie um an easy watch for those of you who are you know um hell bent on watching netflix movies only i know some people don't watch anything unless it's on netflix so if you're that way inclined and you want something to watch during the week or the weekend definitely check it out man it's a really really good movie um everyone did a really good job in it and i highly highly recommend it um 
He's a handsome motherfucker, isn't he? Jesus Christ. But anyway, <laughs> let's get him off the screen. <laughs> 